like a third setting. One lead. And a hard start. I don't see these failing very much. I think I, I hear other people saying that they do, but I'm not seeing Welcome it back to Kung often. Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe, and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Oh, got a bunch of start start kits here. And... I had a viewer ask me recently about the hard start kits. How come uh, I hadn't tested them and that they could actually be tested using the microfarad test. Um, I hadn't really tested them because I haven't had much research on them um, or any information about actually how to test them. So I decided to kind of do that myself. Um, I did try doing an ohm test. This is a new, these are all new capacitors, and um, I found no real training on this out there. So here's a continuity test. My meter's working, but continuity doesn't show anything. So continuity test won't work on these. But what we can do is do a, a microfarad test. So I'll flip this over one more and testing the microfarads. And what I found was about 47.4 earlier when I tested this. So we need a good test here. Forty-six point nine. Forty-seven point one. I got about forty-seven point four earlier. So we're just showing around 47. Uh, now that's on this one. What I decided to do was test about five of them and then kind of go through there. Um, we're showing, you know, about 47.1 microfarads on this one. So I figured I'd test about five of them and see what we come up with. Anything interesting and anything standard. Um, so, let's go right through these. Not going to really open it all the way per se, just enough for us to get a good test. I'll line them all up. It's not an exact science. I did think about calling the manufacturer to see what they recommend for testing these, but. Then I thought of this idea and kind of thought I'd kind of do this myself and see if there's anything kind of in the name of science and understanding that we can learn that would be useful in the future for working with these. Um, I've seen, you know, definitely when you have capacitors, which is what a hard start kit is, um, the hard start kit. Uh, it doesn't store any energy, it stores no power. What it does is it changes the phase angle of the electricity. So uh, when you want to start the compressor going, it takes a lot of energy. By changing the phase angle, it gets that first initial, initial turn to get things going. It, it's only in the circuit for about half a second to a second, if, if that. And then it's immediately removed via temperature. As it, as it heats up, it's got a relay in there that separates. Now, some people say these aren't very good because they don't reset. I'm not entirely convinced of that. Um, you should never be restarting a compressor right away anyway. So, you know, the question is after a half hour, do they reset? I think they do. I, I don't know. I'd have to do some further testing on that one. Um, but it's definitely interesting, and I think there's a, not a lot of people have gone into this very much. I did notice about a four volt difference uh, as I was doing some testing on uh, the hard start kit recently. Listening to the sound difference and doing a temperature test difference it did show substantial um, sound difference. Anyway, what I perceived at the moment. Improvement. What we're going to do here is test these. 
find a better way to position this to make sure that everything gets in the, in the shot. That's not working. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go with the next one here. So we've got four of them. This one is on the microfarad test. 50.3. That was kind of my suspicion is that these are right around 50. Um, I wrote on one of these. Which point did I write on? Darn it. This one. Okay, so I'm going to test this one next. This one's 50.3. So it seems like right around 50 is where, where these are at. So let's test this one next since it's my writing one. Fifty point fifty one. Fifty one. Okay, this was the one I tested already. Okay, this one was fifty one. Okay. Next. Come on, buddy. Forty-five. So we're seeing some some variation, but right around fifty. That one's forty-five. That was the weakest one yet. And here's the last one. I figured five of them is a good representative amount. Let's see what we get. Forty-eight point three. So, what we conclude is these, these are right around 50, you know, 45 to 50. This one's jumped up to 48.4. Very interesting. Um, now, again, uh, it's only in the circuit for a, a, a point, you know, five seconds, you know, 0 0.5 seconds, a split second as an initial draw to change that angle of the of the uh, you know, it's kind of like if you're going to start a fan motor um, you wouldn't want to hit right in the center of the motor you know you'd want to you'd want to move the blade you know to make it spin to get it started it's kind of this uh, the super boost that boom, gives it an initial 300 percent extra torque on the compressor for this size this is the SPP5 um, so, kind of interesting. Um, more research in the works, going to be comparing on some. Um, my guess at this point is that we probably wouldn't want to see them under 30 at this point, or half of their, you know, under 25 maybe of, of their capacitance. That's just at a guess. I'm going to test some old ones and see. Uh, maybe test a few old ones of old brands. Um, Obviously, if we got a way weak capacitor, capacitance, um, but very interesting. Capacitors seem to be like a form of resistor that, that uh, hold back the electrical current in a certain way, affect the electrical current. Um, very interesting. All right, more research in the works. Um, some people don't like these super boosts. They like the other ones that reset in a different way. Um, I actually haven't had any problem with them. Um, again, I'm, I'm kind of using them from the beginning. I'm not, you know, I, I think a lot of hard start kits, um, especially for refrigerators and the, like the three in one starters and stuff like that, they get a bad rap because they're often used already on, on dying equipment. I like to use these right from the get go on all equipment. Um, I like having five minute delays on my compressors anyway, so if the, if the unit doesn't start or fails or is interrupted, someone fiddles with the thermostat, then the unit waits five minutes to turn back on. A lot of the thermostats have them built in now, where if the temperature's changed or whatnot, the, the um, thermostat will keep it from starting for five minutes to help protect the compressor. I think you never want to start a compressor right away after you've 
turned it off. Um, I think it's always a good idea to wait five minutes to restart it. Um, anyway, more research on this subject. Uh, going to be working on a bit more on the hard start kits. It's a kind of an interesting subject to me. Um, there's our conclusion. I got 47.1, 50.3, 51. Had one that was 45 and one that was 48.3. Um, yeah, I might. And I still consider calling the manufacturer to get more information on it. Um, my guess is it's probably you'd want to see plus or minus 10%, just guessing. So like if it was 40 Five. or less, then it maybe it's bad or weak, but that's just my guessing at this. Um, Going to be testing them a bit more. That's enough rambling for now. Thanks for watching. More in the works. Like a third setting. One lead. And a hard start. I don't see these failing very much. I think I, I hear other people saying that they do, but I'm not seeing it very often. I mean, I've, I've, not that I've never had them happen. I've seen them melt, but they're supposed to be taken out of the circuit after a brief moment. 48.1. Good. Okay. So we're good here. Reconnect everything back up. Uh oh, the unit just turned on. Someone is wanting some cooling. A quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are, you should find a bunch of different material that'll be helpful to your maintenance needs. Yeah.